What's up, YouTube? It's your boy JP's on your keys. And this two easy birthday video today. We got Love Thy Neighbor, the Antenatal Clinic. Appreciate y'all for the support. Leave a like if you enjoyed that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. Without further ado, see a pile house tricks. What's new? Love thy neighbor. A great deal easier, life will be breezier if you love thy neighbor. Oh dear. A right waste of time this is. Oh, for God's sake, stop moaning. It's Father's Night. What do you want me here for? Well, in case you've forgotten, you are going to be a father. This isn't wind, you know. <laughs> They smoking in the hospital? Oh my, oh. Oof. <laughs> Oof, that's a conflict of interest right there. <laughs> they did for my Uncle Charlie, you know. Who did? Hospitals. If he ever had to go into hospital, he'd have been here today. Killed him, you know. Hospitals are supposed to kill people. That's just the point, love. There was nothing wrong with him. You see, <laughs> He'd been complaining of dizziness and uh, difficulty with breathing, so they took him in for ten days' observation. They shoved things in him, up him, down him. <laughs> Anywhere they could, they shoved something. Did they don't know what was wrong with him? No, no, no. He baffled them. It was my Auntie Nelly who found out what was wrong with him. He'd been wearing his shirt collars a size too small. <laughs> don't believe a word of it. It's true, love. It's true. She got him a larger size, and he was discharged as being cured. Just a minute. You said hospitals killed him. They did. On his way out, he was knocked down by an ambulance. <laughs> oh, my God. Have you got any more fairy stories? Well, I think we'll have a drag outside. Look. Sit down. But I was only going outside. Stop arguing. You're sign here. But hospitals make me feel ill. <laughs> well, if you do feel ill, you couldn't be in a better place. <laughs> here. While you're waiting, read this. What is it? Dr. Spock's book on having babies. You promised to read it ages ago. No, love, I can't read that. Why not? Well, I started it last week. I got the first page on morning sickness, had to put it down. Why? Made me feel sick. <laughs> you make me feel sick. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, dear. Well, what time is this Father's Night supposed to start? They told us all to be here at 8 o'clock. All? Who else is coming, then? Oh, well, there's a Mr. and Mrs. Cooper. She's nice. Yeah. Here, her husband is Rodney, the hairstylist. Rodney? Rodney? In with the blue rinse and the tight trousers? Yeah, that's him. <laughs> well, would you believe it? You know, I wouldn't have thought he knew what it was all about. <laughs> <laughs> I can already say, uh, I can already tell what Rodney is. <laughs> Knows more than you think. She's expecting twins. <laughs> Rooted monkey. <laughs> hmm. And I know what I, I see the like I see like the way that shows like this were 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 popular with the times because this is a time I got in England where kind of like racial tensions were kind of weird. Considering how this is when mass immigration came toward Britain and then now you had all these people from from like African from Africa and the Middle East, all these different countries emigrating in this attitude and now it wasn't as socially demoralizing to have a TV character who was literally an ultimate bigot, the racist, the homophobe, the xenophobe, the the anti something whatever whatever type of thing you wanna think. But, like, now we can't do that. <laughs> but, like, now we just put these people just to make these characters look as dumb as they would. Because a lot of the old shows in the 70s had a whole bunch of racial undertones to it. They did. This show, um, the one with, uh, Alpha Garnett, the, the, Till Death Do Us Part, the In Sickness and Health, 
the Rising Damp, Sanford and Son, the Jeffersons, Good Times. Like, all these shows have, like, a racial kind of, like, you know, you know what I'm saying? I ain't nothing wrong with it, but, like, that was really what people was going through. Who else is coming then? Where's a couple from Putney. I don't know their name. He's an ignorant, loud mouth twit. <laughs> You'll get on well with him. <laughs> <laughs> That's a bunch. Then it's Bill and Barbie. The Nick Dogs. <laughs> What are they coming for? She's pregnant, you know. She's not having it in this hospital, is she? Where did you expect her to have it? Well, they should have special nignog hospitals. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. Is it nice, isn't it, eh? They come over here, they steal our women, they pinch our jobs. Now they want to nick our hospital beds. Yes, I know one hospital bed will be used by a white man. <laughs> <laughs> it just makes me laugh when I hear stuff like that. <laughs> Oh, Nick Nock Hospitals. Because <laughs> you hear how dummy sounds when he says stuff like that. How long have you two been there? Long enough. Oh, oh pay no attention to him, Balbie. Oh, I never do, Joan. What are you doing? I'm just having a little scrounge around, that's all. <laughs> Go! <laughs> hey, look at this. You see this fella? Hey, Bobby, looks as though he's been waiting a long time, eh? <laughs> hey, hey, I've heard of fights in the flab, but this is ridiculous. Leave it alone. I wonder what sex it was. I should imagine he's too worried about it. <laughs> hey, hey, he must be a black man, eh? Give over his white. He's got white bones. <laughs> so stupid. That's so stupid. You're just being ridiculous. We all have white bones. You don't have white bones. Only white men have white bones. Black men have black bones. I see. And uh, Chinese have yellow bones and red Indians have red bones, eh? Oh, knickers. Them bones, them bones, them bones. Hey, look at this. That's the rangers in the night. It's changing the light. Oh, missus, I was, uh, <laughs> just having a look around, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I've, uh, I've always been keen on anatomy, me, you know. <laughs> Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Well, it appears we're rather depleted in numbers this evening. Two of our prospective fathers have cried off. Mr. Cooper is busy with his blow waves, and the Casanova of Putney has disappeared. Oh, what a pity. Well, now, are you segregated or integrated? Pardon? <laughs> well, are you black and black and white and white, or one of each? Oh, um, uh, <coughs> together. Oh, good. Well, come along, come along, sit down. <laughs> then you can see the demonstration. That kind of threw me off a little bit. Here he is. He? Looks more like a she to me. <laughs> oh. Now your baby will look exactly like this. There'll be trouble if mine does. <laughs> <laughs> yes, right. Excuse me. There's a telephone call. Oh, thank you, nurse. I shan't be a <laughs> I'll report this hospital to the race relations board. What for? Using a white door, that's why. And why not? It's a white hospital. I was right, love. Here's a little girl, it's got no widget. Oh. Hey, 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 look at this. No, 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 piece of cake, you know. La, da, dee, dee. Be careful. <laughs> I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll bring its window. Well, I suppose we'd better continue with a few diagrams. 
I do hope that neither of you two gentlemen is in any way squeamish. Oh, well, I'm certainly not squeamish. Neither am I. Take a lot to make me squeam. Good. I'm very glad to hear it. Now, first we have a diagram showing the position of the female uterus at the moment of conception. And here we have an illustration it of is. the womb in the initial stages of labour, just after the membrane has ruptured. <laughs> Have you finished with these glasses or are you having another? Sorry, what was that, Nobby? I said, are you having another? Oh, thanks very much. I'll have half. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll have a pint. I'm on about washing them up, not filling them up. <laughs> well, whose turn is it? Whose turn do you think it is? We've been sitting here for two hours, we've only had one drink and I bought it. Well, Eddie usually pays after you. Well, Eddie's not here, is he? I don't mind waiting. <laughs> <laughs> here, you, lad. It's your turn, Eddie. Let me get through the door, will you? Damn it. <clears throat> Same again, Nobby. All round, son. You're late. No, it was Father's night at the hospital. Oh, I wonder where you got to. Did you win anything? <laughs> Pardon? Well, when I went to ladies' night at the British Legion, there was tombola and spot prizes. <laughs> father's night is not a dance, you twallop. <laughs> it's where you go when you're going to be a father. Well, I don't know anything about it. I've never been a father. Did I give you all the gen, Eddie? No, no, they didn't need to, Arthur. You see, we're going by Spock. Oh, you can't beat the experts. No. Spock is the best there is. Yeah. Can't go wrong if you do what Spock says. Did he wear that, Arthur? Jacko was actually with us for once. Miracles never cease. Look, don't you two be so cheeky. I know who Spock is. Keep your shirt on. Well, you get on my wit, you two, sometimes. You think I'm stupid, don't you? You think I know nothing. I'm not ignorant, you know. All right, all right, Jacko, we're sorry. I know all about Spock. Oh, all right, Jacko. He's a Vulcan. <laughs> Pardon? Spock, he's a Vulcan. We're talking about Dr. Spock. Well, that's where you're wrong. See, it's McCoy that's the doctor. Mr. Spock's the first officer. <laughs> he's talking about Star Trek. <laughs> I can't, I can't do that thing with my fingers. What's, what's that thing that they do? with I can't do that. My fingers are not... My, my my hands are too muscular to move my fingers separately. So I can't do the... You know what I'm saying? The little... You, you know what I mean? The little V thing like this. But like, it would be two fingers instead of one. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's Captain Kirk, Scotty and Sulu. What are you on about? Voyage of the Starship Enterprise. <laughs> to boldly go where no man has been before. <laughs> I wish they'd have taken you with them, I probably would <coughs> There's your drink, lads. Oh, oh God. God. Cheers. How much is that, son? To you? 48p. Oh, look. Here's 50. Have a drink yourself. <laughs> no, go on, man. You'll finish up bankrupt. <laughs> Dang, 50 cent for four drinks? Bro, that met we that wage must have been low in a month. <laughs> Bro, they were surviving off $15 a week <laughs> back in the day. I keep thinking about Oh, everything was so low in the cost of you can get a brand new car for two thousand dollars well considering how the average wage was like twenty thousand dollars back then and twenty thousand was the top of the top like if you was making over fifty thousand back in the 70s you were the what <laughs> like people say i want to go back to that yeah you would have got paid nothing you would have been fine with your one hundred and fifty dollar paycheck after three weeks of hard, after two weeks of hard work, which at two seventy five an hour for for your for your job for your, for your store job, your minimum wage is four dollars an hour. Cheers, Joe. Uh, cheers, Good Eddie. Good cheers, Sambo. My name's Bill, not Sambo. We're not all about that again. Are yes, we? we are. The trouble with you is you're too touchy. And the trouble with you, you're too ignorant. You have no feelings. Of course I've got feelings. Then why on earth do you call people Nignog? Jacko, have I ever called you a Nignog? <laughs> no. Arthur, you've called me a few things, but never a Nignog. You see, Sambo? I give up. How can you argue with someone who insults you without even knowing it? Just a minute. Let's, let's get this right. Now, look, do you mean to say, when I call you Sambo or Nignog, you're insulted. 
Yes, Eddie. But why didn't you say so? I'm a reasonable man. As from now, I shall refrain from using terms that offend you. You really mean that? I do, yes. Thank you. Don't mention it. Well, I'm glad we got that settled. So am I. Have we got to have a game of darts? A good idea. Jack or me will play you and the knick knock. <laughs> oh, damn you! You've said it again, you know. What, what, what was it? You've called me a knick knock. But, 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 keep sure, don't I? Oh, what's the use? He doesn't even know when he's saying it. Of course I know when I'm saying it. You can't go telling us without calling me Sambo or knick knock. Well, that's just where you're wrong, Sambo. <laughs> you see? You see? Uh, don't interrupt. I could go as long as I like without calling you Sambo or knick knock. Ah, rubbish. It is not. All right, then. How much? You'd lose, you know. Never mind, I'd lose. How much? All right, Eddie. Now, I bet you ten pounds you can't go 24 hours without calling me Sambo, King Kong, Nick Nog, or any other insults. Right. You're up. Right. You witnessed that, eh, fellas? Yes, Bill. No, let me see. It's nine o'clock. You'll never last through the next 24 hours. Oh, yes, I will. We'll see. Here you wake. You... <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> That's how you go say. <laughs> Just a minute, you're sopping my beer. Well, I'm ever so sorry, Eddie. You great steaming thing! <laughs> <laughs> come on, come on. That wasn't a very nice thing to do. <laughs> Pardon me, your great wise pale face. <laughs> you're determined to get me at it, aren't you? Right on, honky. <laughs> 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 See, the thing was, Bill wasn't no better, though, because Bill was feeding into it and antagonizing it. So that's pro that's the re that's the response that he wants from it. When when somebody calls you that, and they know that they can get a reaction out of you when they say that. You feel me? Have a good day. Oh, fantastic! I never enjoyed a day's work so much in all my life. Oh, you won your bet with Eddie then? Uh uh, not yet. But brother. I've had a lot of fun trying. I didn't think Eddie would last out this long. Well, neither did I. Especially after the box of washers. What box of washers? The one I accidentally dropped on his foot. <laughs> you mean he still didn't lose his temper? <laughs> Not only that, he apologized for putting his foot in the way. <laughs> <laughs> hey, oh, I, I thought I had him in the canteen, though. Oh, what did you do? Well, I accidentally, on purpose, spilled a bottle of tomato ketchup all over his chocolate sponge. <laughs> Bill, you're not being very fair. Oh, who wants to be fair with Eddie Booth? He's white. <laughs> hey, while you're on the subject, I think you ought to get a different wool, you know. <laughs> What's wrong with this? It's the wrong color. I don't want my child wearing white clothes. Look, Bill, I can't... All right, all right. Now, now, now this is where... This is where it kind of gets kind of weird because it's like, eh, you're not really helping. It's in, in blue or pink because we don't know whether the baby's going to be a boy or a girl yet. Well, what of it is it's going to be black. <laughs> anyway, what's wrong with black clothes? Don't be silly. We'll never see him in the dark. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> hey, I never had any trouble seeing you in the dark. <laughs> Our baby is not wearing black clothes. All right, all right. Forget the black. How about maroon and blue? Maroon and blue? Yeah, West Ham United's colors. Oh, no. If we do have a son, he's not going to be a footballer. Yeah, well, as long as you know how to box. He's not going to be a boxer either. I don't want him to be a boxer. I just want him to be able to beat Eddie's baby. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Our kids aren't even born yet, and already you've got them fighting. Oh, what do you want to eat? Oh, no, look, I'll just have a quick snack. I got to get on to the club. Three hours left to provoke Eddie into losing his bet. <laughs> I'll show him. If he thinks he's got me over a battle, he's sadly mistaken. Why don't you give him the money now? <laughs> yeah. Have you no faith in your husband? No. <laughs> Thanks a bunch. I think it's a miracle you've lasted this long. How long have we been married? Forty years. Pardon? <laughs> Oh, I am sorry. It just feels like 40 years. Do you mind, love? I'm trying to hold an intelligent conversation. If you do, it'll be the first time. I might as well talk to myself. Oh, oh I thought you were trying to have an intelligent conversation. <laughs> Oops. We are not amused. No, we are not amused. 
<laughs> Yo, she, 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 yeah, I like how she, I like how her character is like an asshole for real. <laughs> She's an asshole. <laughs> her character's an asshole for real, but I like it though. Because she don't stand up to the BS and she not just so, oh, blah, 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 you know what I'm saying? It's bad enough with him having a go at me all day without you starting. I think you've done very well, love. Of course I have. You know why? It's because I'm white. <laughs> you see, us whites have got stronger willpower. Much stronger than those nignogs. Those Maybe you've lost. Lost what? Your bit. How about you others like lost me a bit? The bit. Just because I said nignog does not mean I've lost the bet. The bet was I wouldn't call him nignog to his face. Oh, I see. You're just sort of getting it out of your system, making up your quota. <laughs> if I want in the privacy of my own home to use the term nignog, I should use the term nignog. And no nignog will stop me. Do you feel better now? Would you like to throw in a couple of sandbows? <laughs> Look, there's ten quid at stake here, love, and I'm going to win it. Good. You owe me three. What for? A doll. You're not buying our baby dolls already, are you? It's for the maternity hospital to replace the one you decapitated. It fell off. And don't forget, you're coming with me again tomorrow night. I want you to finish Father's Night. Do I have to? Yes. And this time I'm taking the smelling salts. Perhaps we'll get past the fourth illustration. <laughs> Don't they do a postal course? I don't know. Don't you want to know what to do when the baby arrives? I'll know exactly what to do. What? I'll get blind drunk. <laughs> oh. Yeah, all you're fit for, you're going to be a great help. No, no, I don't need any lessons. When the time comes, I'll know how to look after my baby. Right. What do you do when it cries in the middle of the night? Wake you up. <laughs> Eddie Booth, this child is as much yours as it is mine. You're going to have to pull your weight. Well, what exactly is it you want me to do, love? Well, give it a bath sometimes. Oh, I don't mind doing that. When I have a bath, it can come in with me. <laughs> oh, my God. What else? You change the occasional nappy? I don't fancy that. <laughs> no, you wouldn't. Would it be too much trouble for you to give it a feed now and then? It wouldn't be any trouble. Be a flaming miracle. <laughs> what do you mean? Well, look, I, how can I give it a feed? I haven't got the equipment. <laughs> what equipment? You know, the, uh... <laughs> <laughs> there is such a thing as baby milk powder, you know. You mix it in water and you put it in bottles. Oh, yeah, I forgot. You've got a lot to learn. You're quite right, love. I've got a lot to learn. Well, I'm going out for a pint down to the club. I'd have thought you'd have stayed away till after nine. If Bill's in there, you're bound to lose your bit. Look, love, it doesn't matter what he says to me. He's watered off a duck's back. In one ear and out the other. Well, that's just where you're wrong. He won't even get a chance to go in one ear. <laughs> Evening, Jacko. You're a bit early tonight. Oh, I'm at the first. Your moment of truth has arrived. What's that? You'll have to buy your own beer. <laughs> I've just remembered I've got a call to make. <laughs> On the other hand, I'm in no hurry. And I'll have a half. Hey, evening, fellas. This man Jack will never oh, bought a beer, beer ever. Hey, where is Eddie? Hasn't been in yet. <laughs> I'm looking forward to tonight. You have less than three hours to go. Oh, don't worry, Jacko. There's plenty of time. As soon as he walks through that door, he is going to get an earful. I've got about 20 new names to call him. Oh. <laughs> not? What the f Oh, my God. What's all this, honky? Very well, thank you. <laughs> of all the low, dumb, rotten, pale-faced tricks, about 22. I might have expected something from a loudmouth bigot. Oh, it's very nice of you. I'll have a pipe, please. And uh, give us a sandwich, will anybody there? <laughs> hey, what's the matter with Eddie's ears? That's his ploy. His ploy? Yeah. Well, I hope it soon gets better. <laughs> Hey, Bill, <coughs> I think you've lost your bet. It's no good of calling him names he can't hear. Well, I don't worry, Arthur. Action speaks louder than words, eh? Hey, hang on, Nobby, I'll take that over for you. But, uh, plenty of mustard he'd like. <laughs> What's your game? Uh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Plenty of salt and 
Pepper. There's Joe, is not. I hope so. That's not fit for human consumption. No, but it'll be fit for Eddie Booth. <laughs> hey, excuse me, Pepper. Uh, uh, yeah. Cheers. Good out. Yes, Eddie. Come on, come on. You naughty coloured gentleman. <laughs> He's covered in mustard. <laughs> I he keeps his temper. Oh, don't worry, Arthur. I ain't finished with him yet. Yo, Bill's laugh is hilarious. <laughs> he, he wrote it on a piece of paper. <laughs> he wrote it on a piece of paper. What's it say? Nick Nog. Give me a shout at nine o'clock. <laughs> He's not coming out. Well, come out now, Eddie. It's nine o'clock. Thank God for that, Arthur. I'll tell you what, those plastic seats aren't half hard, you know, son. <laughs> well? Oh, all right, you win. <laughs> Thank you, Sambo. <laughs> Drinks all round, Nobby, and uh, one for the Nick Nog. <laughs> I didn't think you could do it, Eddie. No, no. You see, tell you the truth, it was touch and go. I don't think I could have lasted another ten minutes. Just as well I put the clock on then, isn't it? It's it. Uh... <laughs> <sighs> Pardon? Well, when I was in here on my own earlier on, I put the clock on 15 minutes so you wouldn't have too long to go. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you looking at me like that? You stupid net jacko! <laughs> I'll have that 10 pounds, Eddie, and the other 10 pounds of yours. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, he's so racist, he called the white man Nignog almost. <laughs> he almost he called the white he almost called the white dude a Nignog. That's for <laughs> Oh, I'm not well. <laughs> I've got palpitations. You lost, <laughs> you lost 20 quid. I've got a heart attack. Oh. <laughs> be nice, isn't it? Eh? I could be dying for all you care. There's nothing wrong with you. Suppose you think it's all in my mind? No. You haven't got one. <laughs> <laughs> Very much. Oh, hi, Joan. Here we go again. Hey, Bobby, Bobby. You, you know I shouldn't be here. I, I think I'm coming along with a cold, you know. Oh, shut up, Bill. Come and sit down. Uh, yes, sir! Oh. <laughs> Stay away from me. I don't want your black germs all over me. Good evening. Good evening. Well, I do hope we can get a little further than we did last time. So do I. Eddie, the doll. Oh! <laughs> I, uh, nearly forgot. I brought this doll, Mrs., to, uh, make up for the one I broke. Well, that's very kind of you, Mr. Booth, but you needn't have bothered. Mr. Reynolds has already given us one. <laughs> My phone. <laughs> oh my god, bro, bro, bro. When when you say when you say black, I'm talking when when you say black. I mean, I'm thinking about like like brown skin black, not literal charcoal, bro. <laughs> not literal freaking charcoal. Like I can see why they canceled this, bro. Literal charcoal, bro. Ain't no way, bro. That's crazy. That's so crazy. That baby is charcoal, bro. That's the color of coal. <laughs> That's not even. <laughs> oh, this is the funniest episode I watched in a minute. I say that about every episode. But, um. Whew, thank you for watching. Hope you had a great day. 
Um, leave a like if you enjoy. Hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. <sighs> this show was ridiculous. <laughs> but I'm out. Be safe. Have a great day. Stay on the grind. Peace.